Good evening. The state's worst mass murderer will spend the rest of his days behind bars with no chance of parole. Registered nurse Roger Dean took 11 lives when he set fire to the Quakers Hill nursing home in 2011, a crime labelled today by a judge as heinous and atrocious. The sentence met with sobbing and applause from the victims' families. These are the faces of the lives that were lost. Today, with the families of his victims staring him down, Roger Dean was unemotional as he was sent to jail for life. She died terrible. Terrible death. Terrible death. And I think she deserved better. Every time we picture our Nana, we wonder whether she was in pain or if she was scared or screaming or needing help. And he walked straight past her and didn't help. Relatives cheered and shouted as Dean was led away. You beauty, yes. that son of a got what he deserves. Yeah. Outside, the families were united in their relief. Now all this is over with and never to be released. Oh, life, wonderful. Justice has been served, finally. Judge Megan Latham put it this way. The pain and terror must have been horrific. The prospect of being burned alive or suffocated by smoke, a worst fate is difficult to imagine. His motive, to cover up his theft of drugs from a storeroom. He told us he tried to save lives. I'm, I'm Roger, I'm one of the nurses and just there was a, a fire and I just quickly just did what I can, get everyone out. Dean later told detectives the devil made him do it. It was like Satan saying to me that it's the right thing to do. Sue Wiebeck fainted in the court as the judge read out the gruesome details of Dean's crimes. An ambulance was called, but she recovered. And it was just all overwhelming, and just picturing all those lovely people with no help. There was praise too for the police who worked on arguably one of this state's most distressing crimes. This particularly hit home. My father himself is 90 and is in very much the same age bracket as these people. He's a, he has every right to live and live happily and safely. And I hope he suffers as much in jail as my mother suffered the last four days of her life, which was horrendous. I hope you're right. I do hope you're right. He got a life sentence and so did we. <laughs> and now it's all over, a chance to share memories of loved ones lost. If you have a mother, go home and give her a bloody cuddle. Simon Boder is at Silverwater Jail tonight. Simon, is that where Roger Dean will remain? Well, Pete, I can tell you that he is here tonight. This will be his first night of his life sentence, if you like. He'll be recategorised. He'll probably be sent to a maximum security facility, probably Goldman Jail. But after speaking with the families today, they don't really care where Roger Dean spends the rest of his life. All they want is for him to do hard time, and that's what they're asking. Pete? All right, Simon, thank you.